Hi, it's Lori. I'm back. Welcome to my channel, The Armchair Chef. I am, this month is going to be a whole lot of things going on because I have giveaways and some of those giveaways are based on comments on my videos. So I have to make a lot of videos for you to comment on. So you get chances, to, lots of chances to win. Um, so this one is going to be a Timu product review. And what I will do is I will do several videos and I'll combine them. And this one is going to be on this cup. Now that's not what the cup looks like when you get it. Looks like this when you get it. It's a collapsible. It's a collapsible coffee cup. So what you have is you have the ring around the middle because yes, it does get hot because it is, look at that, lid comes off. It doesn't screw on. It lifts on and off. It does have a plug. And if you're careful, it won't leak. So I brought my coffee with me. Wish me luck. I'm going to try pouring it in. Yeah, I know. Okay. Stop telling me no. It wasn't too hot. I put creamer in it. So, and this thing will go in the wash. So it does hold eight ounces. This is where it is when it holds eight ounces, right there. I add creamer in mine. That's the other thing. Does anybody know if there's a coconut creamer that doesn't taste like coconut? Yeah, because I like the coconut milk. I like the stuff that's creamy, but everything I put it in tastes like coconut. The almond milk was watery. I like it a little creamier, more consistency. So if you guys use one, that has a good sense consistency that doesn't have milk. I'm trying to stay away from the dairy. But as I can get that's a little thicker, let me know. Because this tastes like coconut all the time. Now, I did try once a gallon or a half gallon of cashew milk. That seemed very creamy. Um, I can be more specific, shelf stable. I could say um, shelf stable so that I can buy a bunch of it was what I did. I bought Costco, I bought a case and put it in there. This was a different kind of milk. I bought it at um, our local store that's like Smart and Final. It's our for versions. I think it's called Food Associates. No, something like that. It's our version of Smart and Final. I love Smart and Final in California. Because you can go in there as a as a consumer and get things that, like, I buy tall bottles of my co sugar-free coffee syrup, and then I just bought a squirt nozzle from Timu for 99 cents to put in it, just like they have at the gas station. And I use that for my coffee. I bought the caramel. So sometimes my coffee tastes like caramel coconut. So anyway, this goes on there because if you put this in there right out of the pot, it's very hot. And so they do give you this. Whoops. You don't want to do this after you put coffee in it. But they do give you this to put on it so you can hold it. And then the lid goes in. And yeah, I'm not going to collapse it with this. I mean, I'm not going to try to not spill it because uh, I don't want to make a mess in case it... it screws up but yeah one of these is going to go into my team of random bag giveaway i bought two of them so somebody's going to get one of these it's very cool you take this with you somewhere fill it up this could be one of the things that you can take like to the airport with you when you can't have a bottle of water once you get on the other side of tsa you can fill something up with water or a regular water bottle but you know coffee and it doesn't hold too much and it's microwavable so you can reheat it in the microwave it does turn 
so you don't have to have your nose hitting it while you're trying to drink. That's kind of cool, look. <laughs> they suck it up and it collapses. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, but I can sit here now with it in something like this and it's not going to get cold. So, okay. I'm sure I will go through and dig out my uh, screenshots of all these and put a screenshot of how much I paid for this. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching this review on from, oh, I purchased all these things on Timu. They didn't like the video I posted of the stuff they gave me for free. So they refused to um, continue their relationship with me. Whatever. It's so cheap. I can just buy it myself anyway. doesn't matter if they give me something for free. The stuff's cheap. Okay. Thank you. Stay tuned for another one. Okay. You see, I got something weird on my hand. Oh, by the way, I had to change my clothes because I spilled coffee on them. Yeah, I know. You said so. You said that was going to happen. So, okay. This is a glove that was advertised. Okay. It was Timu. I got it. I paid for it. was advertised to be for, um, say, mechanics. Because it has lights on the fingers. So when you're working on things, you can see what you're doing. The light, it goes down where your finger is. So I thought, well, what about crochet? Would I be able to use this when I'm crocheting and see what I'm doing? So all of this depends on how you hold your yarn. Because this is on your finger. It was on my middle finger or on my first finger. Now, I might try. I'm going to experiment a little bit. I do not think I can use this on my middle finger the way I hold my yarn or my fing my first finger. Because I hold my yarn like, like this. Actually, it could teach me a way to hold my yarn differently. That might be nice. Huh? I would like to hold it. Oh, actually, this isn't bad if I do it this way. Okay. Now, can I see any better? Echo, turn my lights off. Okay. I can see with my thumb, but it's pointing at this hand. It's not pointing down at my yarn. So, a uh, totally dark room, no. When I pull my hand back, I can see the yarn I'm working on. Um, there could be ways to tweak this glove to do it. Depending on how you crochet, yeah, this might work. You cannot only turn yeah, right now I'm not seeing where I'm going because my thumb is facing up here because I'm holding my yarn. I'm holding my project. I hold my project with this hand, with my thumb and my middle finger, and then my yarn with my first finger. So this could work based on how you do your project. Now, let me see if I can turn off one of these lights. Okay, no, it's both on or nothing. Now, you could cover one of these up if you don't want to use it. You could put like a piece of black tape over it. If you decide you don't want to use this one, it doesn't do you any good. Um, or even this one, depending on how you um, hold your stuff. Let me see how this might work on my middle finger instead of my first finger. 
Let's try that. Sorry if I'm getting into some of the, the glare. So let's see how this works. Yeah, it's not really meant to be on that finger, but we're gonna see if I can, the way I hold my yarn, Can I see better with it? Uh, let's see. Kind of, I get more light on my project doing it this way on my middle finger. Yeah, I do actually. I get way more light on my project doing it this way. Yeah. And this is on my left hand and this one is designed for left-handed. They sell a package that has both of them and then they believe they, you can buy the right or the left. Now, I could have swore I bought another one that had both of them in it. But, um, so let me turn this off so I can show it to you. It has a little Velcro thing, Velcro thing that it goes around your wrist. And then it's just kind of stretchy stuff that comes off. It has a little thing here little push pit button inside that little rubber thing and there's a screw so my guess is there's a battery in there you might be able to change because there's a screw echo turn my lights on okay so yeah this was very interesting and even if you don't do this for crochet this could be used for a lot of things you know, if you're under the sink, if you're anywhere repairing something and it's kind of dark, when you're digging behind the TV to put a plug in, oh my God, you don't have to hold a flashlight. You put this on and then you can see back there. It gives you a free hand to work with and still have light. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, this could be done used for lots of different things besides just uh, crafting. Because I'm constantly, when I have to hook stuff up behind the TV, I got to go back there. I'm like this. I got to try to get a flashlight in there. If I have this, I can just point my finger at it and there'll be light. Inside cupboards. Um, in the car. If you have to do something in the car. I mean, it's not like a flashlight, but if you, your power goes out. Crystal, power goes out, you can crochet. <laughs> but yeah it's not heavy duty but i also didn't pay a lot for it um i'll put the screenshot of this up there and i believe there it's two something and a right hand and a left hand is like five something and i definitely think this is worth it if it's something that you can use um in your day-to-day -day life i do not know how sturdy it is do not know how well it holds up the minute I unpack something, I get dog hair on it for some reason, right? So, yeah. Doesn't look like you can change the direction these are in. Now, you could fiddle with it, you know, maybe put a piece of tissue under there to point it in a different direction or whatever. Put it on a different finger. There's a lot of things you can tweak that are different than the way you got it to make it work better. So yeah, this is the box. You want to Google that to find them. It's called a glove lamp. And the flashlight you can't draw. And I'm sure they sell this other places than Timu. There you go. There's another uh, Timu product review and demonstration. And uh, so I'll be back. I'll see you with another one. Okay, I was just going through my things that I wanted to demonstrate, and I found the other pair that I was looking for. There's two of them. There's a right and a left. And um, these are going to be put in one of my bags of random Timu things that I'm going to give away. This one came with a screwdriver. So this one was a little more. I think it was uh, for something, and it's got both hands. Now, there wasn't a size, I believe, to use. These are not 
Uh, these will not fit a larger next to larger man, I don't believe, but they are stretchy. So I don't have anybody around here that I could try it on to, to see how stretchy, but yeah, this is a right hand and a left hand. And I'm going to be putting these in one of my random bags of Timu stuff that I'm going to give away. So. Yay, now I'm back with another little demonstration. I bought a little teeny flashlight. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. Here's a pen for comparison. Let me put this thing back up again. <laughs> okay. Make you dizzy. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. So yeah, it's about two, three inches long. And it has a open clip, which I like because I hate having to use the closed ones and try to get stuff on and off. I really, really like these. I use these a lot for like extra car keys, my storage unit keys, my trailer hitch keys. Um, this stuff is not heavy duty. It's meant to be lightweight to put on your, um, you know, to put on your, your, your keychain because you don't want a lot of stuff on your keychain. It messes with your ignition switch. And I'm feeling around for the button to turn this thing on. Ah, it turns. And it is, I don't know if it's bright enough to find dog poo when you're out walking the dog, but it looks like it could be. Look in their ear, see if there's something in there. Yeah, this is very cheap, very little. It twists on and off. Lightweight enough for a keychain. Yeah. You drop, well, you drop your keys, you won't be able to use this to look for them because they'd be on your keys. But you could hang it on your purse on the inside in case you need it. You want to see what's in your purse? Ha uh ha. -huh. You can use your flashlight. So yeah, there's another little thing. I get the purple. Yeah, it does not feel heavy duty, but it's a little light and it's not heavy, which is the good thing. Most flashlights are very heavy. Don't know if this is reusable, disposable. Oh, the back twists too. So maybe it comes off. Oh, it's opening. <gasps> oh, it's rechargeable. Look at that. <gasps> oh my gosh. You can recharge it, no batteries. So this can last you as long as you want. Wow, that is neat. So you could keep it plugged in in your car. Because I have one of these in my car. Wow, that's very neat. You could keep it plugged in one of those um, adapter outlets in one of your things. So you have a little tiny flashlight to use if you want. Oh my gosh, it's so nice not to have to use batteries all the time. When are they gonna make remote controls rechargeable? Ha ha ha. Okay, well, there we go. I think that makes it even better. So there's a little tiny rechargeable flashlight. No batteries needed. Okay, here we are with another one. Now this one is a set of four crochet hooks from Timu. They're size four and a half through six. And I'm gonna try them out and we'll see how smooth they are because you know, sometimes the metals not smooth. These are uh, tapered. And the handle it is the, the colored part is rubberish and the other part is kind of plastic. And the size is imprinted on it very well. So you can see it. And I just made a little chain with the six. So I'm going to go back with the six and see how See how I like it. So now I've been using um, inline hooks and the difference with the inline and the taper is when I'm doing the taper, I can feel it changing the um, size. I can feel it pop down to the neck that's tapered from the, the full size. 
And that's kind of interesting. I don't know if it bothers me. I don't think it would bother me, but I just haven't been using it for lately. So that's, I think, why I noticed it. Let's see. The yarn I'm using is the yarn from a mystery yarn challenge that I just got. It's this blue one. It feels like a big twist. It's not a super saver. Red Heart, it's more like a big twist. It's kind of soft, but a value yarn. And um, yeah, I'm not doing a good job. It's me, it's not. <laughs> it's the first row. The first row is always nasty. But so far, it's working the way every other hook's ever worked for me. It's not snagging on anything. As I go down, I'll use another hook. Now, I couldn't, wouldn't be able to guarantee that every hook is polished properly or smooth properly. I, there's, I would never be able to guarantee that because, you know, they could all come different. Some people could get a set and they might have some defects. But if somebody needs them, this was a set of four. I didn't buy them individually. Most of the time you can buy them individually. So let me... Um, Oh, let's see. Let me see. Let me put my tutorial cam on. It. We'll see if I can do that. I don't know. We'll take a look. I got to move that there and put this here. And we'll see. Wow, look. My first overhead view. Look at that. I think it'll get better as I do the next row. Because this is always the worst row. Am I in the last one yet? No, I got one more. Okay, hang on, hang on. Next row will be easier. Okay, let me go to the next size. Whoops. Operator error, sorry. Let me go to the next size and we'll try that one out. Okay, there we go. Now let's do a, the next one's gonna be, oh God, what I do, I miss stitches. I'm talking, that's the problem. Next one's gonna be a, uh, the five and a half. And that would be a brown or a black. And <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and do the next row with this one. This should be easier. And I think I'm going to try a half double because I had trouble doing that with the double thickness yarn. So let's see. Oh, this is pretty smooth. Or I could do a Lisa stitch and see how that goes. Let's see. Let's do a single and then a half double. Yeah, this is really smooth. And the hand, the thing is, is sitting in my hand sideways. It's sitting like, because I hold like a knife. Oh, what's coming off of this? Is something coming off? There could be residue plastic or something. I'll see as I'm doing this. Yeah, there could be some residue plastic on this. Um, I don't know how far in this is, if it's coated. Um, so... It sits, I, I, I'm a knife holder, so it sits sideways in my hand, so it's like I'm able to control it sideways like that. Yeah, you're probably just, oh, cringing at the way I'm doing this. I have no, I, this is not ideal, but it's okay. This is the five and a half. And this seems to be fine. It's just like any other ta cheap tapered hook or a nice tapered hook. I don't really know the difference between the cheap ones and the nice ones. Okay, that's the five and a half. Let me get a five. See if that's any different. Oh, this one's way nicer. This one seems better. I like this one for some reason. The smaller size. I don't know. Do not know why, but I do. Let's see. And yes, I will frog this when I'm done. Sometimes I do frog. Not if I can help it or if my imagination allows. So, okay, let's... Um, uh, 
Yeah, let's go up and we'll go back a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, the swatch is ugly, but that's not what we're working on. So don't judge me. Let's try this here. Yeah, I do like this one better. The size seems to work better for me. It just feels smoother. And those four and a halfs, I've never really used them. I can't wait to try them because I did get some from somebody. And I can't wait to try that out. This is a size four weight yarn. So it's working really well with this five. And I do like this five. It's fitting good in my hand. My hand doesn't seem to be getting sore. So let's try this. Um, let's try this G four and a half. It's the green one. See how this one goes. It should still work with this yarn. So let's see. This isn't bad. Yeah, these seem just fine. So if you have a budget, this came as a set. I said that already, but it was not expensive. Just looking to see if there's anything sharp. This is, this feels like a might be a little sharp, but I don't know. It's not getting, nothing's getting caught on it. And this yarn has a little tiny halo that stuff might get caught on it if it, if it was so inclined. I like this size too. Oh my gosh. Would it be horrible if I liked a size four and a half hook? I think I might be liking a four and a half and a five. That's going to take me so long to get projects finished. And I can't, oh my gosh. I don't want, I wouldn't want to do a blanket with a four and a half size hook. You know how long that would take? I'm liking the size though. That's what, that is what the deterrent is for me in the crocheting. The length that it takes to finish a project. Really, that's what keeps me from, I do like this. Okay, the my unofficial crochet opinion, because I'm not an expert by any means, these are doable, definitely. If you want to buy some as gifts to give away in your giveaways, they're not bad quality. Now, this right here has a little, this right here has like a little the uh, mold. There's a little piece on here, but I didn't feel it when I was crocheting, but it could affect the project in the yarn. You could file that down with a nail, nail file, little emery board. So whenever you get cheap stuff like this, yeah, you might want to take a look and see if there's anything that would snag your yarn. You could use a nail file to file things down a little bit, you know, make them make more workable, more doable. So, wow, do those are going to be in one of my Timu giveaway bags because somebody out there could use some crochet hooks. And uh, so let me see. I have one more thing. I don't know if, what, if I'm going to use this right now or not. So let me take a look at it. If I'm going to put this, because I have stuff in the kitchen that I need to do. So I was trying to get stuff done out here so I can put up more videos. Because I have stuff in the kitchen I want to demonstrate. But I busted my busted my thing that holds the phone. Okay, here we go. I have a keychain holder with a loop. Comes with a heavy duty, heavy duty uh opener thingy. And these, oh, these are heavy duty and a horseshoe thingy. Does that come apart? Yeah, it has a screw, screw. There's a screw in there. So this might come off to put something on that. Not sure what. It has that and it comes with numbers and letters. And what these are designed for is in case you lose whatever is attached to this contraption, they give you this 
and this, and you can put your phone number on it so somebody can call you if they find it. Or if you're using it at work, maybe you could put your, nope, they're only numbers. So you can only put your phone number on it in case you leave this sitting somewhere. Somebody can call you, but it wouldn't work if your phone was on it. Well, it would work if you had your keys on it, if you set them somewhere and somebody could do that or, or not just have yourself a nice little keychain. This is really cool. And it's got the loop thingy. This I really, really like. I like these. I use these on my keys a lot. Like I said, in the to de detach stuff, this is heavy. But I have keys at work now I have to keep an eye on. And um, so, yeah. I will put this in one of my Tivu gift bags because I probably would never use this. So I am going to let somebody else get this. Now, when you're getting these giveaways and gift bags and things I'm giving you, you don't have to like the stuff's in it. You can pass it on to somebody else. You know, if you're somebody who's in my mystery yarn challenge, you send a box every month. Send them some of the goodies you don't want. Let's see how far they go. Because <laughs> this stuff's really not crap crap it's just you might not want it or you might not have a need for it so somebody else might so yep that'll be going in there and where did i put the rest of it oh i put it down here okay so okay that will be the end of this video i do not have anything else to put on here and um so thank you for watching Go ahead and um, comment. Let me know what you think of the Timu products. And uh, how much you would not want to get them in a gift bag. <laughs> I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. No. Now the cup, I'm still using the cup. Got my coffee in it. So through the, it's been sitting there through this video. It's not hot, but it's been sealed. It's warm. I can go heat it up if I want. So, yeah. And I have spilled it a couple times because I'm dumb. <laughs> when you put the lid on, you have to have the top open so the air can come out. Yeah, that's something you'll learn. You, you, you figure it out the first time it spills all over everything. Fortunately, it did not get on my yarn. So I shall frog. See, I'm frogging. Ha ha ha. The chef does frog. I eat frogs too. I've had frog legs before. They taste fishy, sort of. They don't taste like chicken, but they do have a thick leg on them. And they taste a little like um, fishy, water stuff, like a water animal. So yeah, had them at a, at a buffet one time. I do prefer the lobster and the crab at the buffet, though, and the shrimp. Okay. Stop. That will be it. Thank you for watching this um, Timu purchase, this Timu product demonstration. I purchased all these things with my own money, and I will be sharing some of them with um, people in the giveaways, the Timu gift bags. Okay. Bye.